In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can share content within Canvas LMS. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren, the Canvas Queen. I'm so excited to be showing you all the ways in which you can share content with your fellow teachers, educator friends in Canvas LMS. I'm gonna show you the three to four ways that you can share content. And of course, not one specific way is right, it's whatever you prefer. Now, of course, before we get into the video, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it because it helps support me as I continue on to create more content for you guys. All right, let's get into the video. I'm going to show you the first way you can share your course content with another teacher. So the first way is to simply add them into the course. So how you do that is you're going to go into the course. Maybe it's not the live course. Maybe you want the sandbox course instead, but I'm just going to click on this math course as an example, and we're going to come over here to the course navigation and we're going to click on people. Then once this loads, you'll see all of the people that are in your course right now. It's just me, but you might have students or other um, observers, whatever. And we're going to click on over here, the plus people button. When we do that, a window is going to appear and we are going to type the email. This would be if it's, you know, a fellow teacher in your school district, it would be their district email account. And then pay attention right here, this is where we would change the role. So we are going to add them as a teacher into the course section, which is math. Now, if you have the full version of Canvas, instead of adding them as a teacher, because when they are a teacher, they do have edit rights. Um, if you don't want them to edit any of your content, you can actually within the um, full canvas version, not the free version, you can actually add them as a sponge. And so what happens here is they can take whatever they want from your course, but they can't edit anything in any way. All right, so I've created my role and I have my section. And what I'm going to do now is click next. It's going to show me the information of the person I am adding. And then I'm going to click add user and it will load and now it's going to say pending until that person accepts my request to be added into the course. Here is another way you can share content and I like this way because I think it's just a little bit more simple. You can share content like pieces of content instead of an entire course. So I'm going to come up to modules here and then anywhere there's like these three dots. So whether it be the module or the content within the module, you can click the three dots and then there's always going to be this option to send to. So then I would just click on this and then type in their email. So I'm actually going to put in my own email. All right, so I have my email here. There it found me. So I click myself and I'm going to now click send. So now it says content share started successfully. Now what's going to happen is when my page refreshes, I'm going to get notified that something has been shared with me. So let's go to the dashboard. All right, so now you'll notice over here where it says my account, I actually have a little notification. I'm gonna click on my account here and then go to shared content. And on this page, it's going to tell me that I have received content from myself, <laughs> but this would be another teacher. What type is it? It's a module, the title of the module, and then actions. This is where I have the option to preview the module or page or what, honestly whatever is shared with me. I can import it anywhere within any course that I am enrolled in. Or if I'm like, eh, I don't want it, I can remove it. So here's what it looks like if we were to preview it. So you can see here, it just shows me the template module. It says that I have an assignment, two pages, one discussion, quizzes, and four files. So then I can actually take a look at each page and go, okay, you know, I 
kind of like it. I think I'm going to add this. So then I would select import and then I can type in whatever course I would like. And I'm going to type in my test course. So this is the course where I want this content to go. I'm going to click import and it's going to tell me that the import has started successfully. Close. Now I can go to that course and my content will be there. As you can see, I am in that test course where I sent all of that shared content to and I have my module. Now, if I ever want to share this again, I can just, let's say I want to share only one thing though. I can just come over to any of these three dots. So let's say I want to share the lesson overview page. I click on the three dots and I can click send to. The last thing, let's say you want to copy this content over to another course that you are enrolled in. You want to share it essentially with yourself, but to another course. You can do the same thing with the send to, or the other option is to come again to that three dots and then do a copy to. When you do copy to, then it's going to come up with please select the course. You can click here and then of course do the exact same thing. It's kind of less steps um, than the send to because it's not like sent to you and then you decide where it goes. From here, you can just decide where you want it to go and then even place it within a module if there is, you can see here, um, I don't have any modules in this course. So it doesn't give me that option, but then I can click copy and it'll copy it over to the other course. So that's just a, another, a little bit quicker of a way if you're sharing content to yourself instead of send to, you can do copy to. So the last way that I actually don't really recommend of how you share content with other people, though I have seen a lot of teachers do this in the past, is to share your content to Commons. Now, what is Commons? Commons, which is located right over here, as you can see in the global navigation bar, Commons is essentially a huge library of content. Now, when you share your content to this library, almost anyone can access it, which is again, why I don't suggest you share your course to Commons. If you're the type of person like myself, if when I go to Commons, I actually have a, a bunch of resources here. When you type in Canvas Queen, you can find all of my lovely freebie resources here. But again, everyone has access to this. Let's say you're a math teacher, right? You share your math course into comments. Then people can type in, let's say, math course, and yours might pop up, and then they can actually take all of your content and have it for themselves. And so that is why I would be very careful when sharing to comments. Now, if you do want to share to comments, it's pretty much the same as the send to and copy to. You go to the three dots within anywhere in your course, a module, a page, an assignment, etc. You click on it and then you can actually select share to comments. If you want to share your entire course to comments, then what you can do is go to settings and then you would do share to comments. And from here, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions on, is this a template? Is it a text? Is Are you copywriting this information? Is it public domain? So it's going to ask you a bunch of questions to fill in, and then you will share that content into the Canvas library, what I like to call it. Huh. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful and that you learned something new. If you have any questions about sharing content in Canvas or anything else Canvas LMS related, feel free to leave it in the comments below. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye!